Welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode. <laughs> All right, so um, this is not a final episode by any means, but uh, with this episode, already you've already seen it, is titled The Hiatus. Uh, I need to take a hiatus from doing wine reviews for a while. Um, this is something that I've kind of had to think about for the past few months with the fact that uh, even only at three wine reviews a week where it used to be five wine reviews a week um, there was not th there's beginning to be not enough time in the day to uh, or in the week to do everything that I need to do with the wine website with reviews and wine education uh, and then also having a day job now you know back when I started all this uh, well the very first episode uh, first whatever week or so <coughs> of episodes I did have a day job and then I quit um, then I had all the time in the world so it was really easy to do what I was doing and do the wine education stuff and um, then in October I uh, of last year of 2009 I was hired back so I re-entered the workforce in in my field of restaurant management and uh, it's been a struggle to be able to balance everything be able to do what I need to do at work in, in what I'm supposed to do at work um, and then on my off time handle everything with the wine website and then still have time for a personal for personal time so I decided that I need to concentrate on what the original intent of the website was so the original intent intent of the website was wine education or is wine education um, the wine reviews while they're part of education wine reviews uh, are, an, are a way to drive people to the website, uh, to drive people to build the brand, and I absolutely appreciate everybody that has been watching the reviews. Um, but uh, <clears throat> the intent of the website was for me to re-educate myself in preparation for the introductory sommelier exam, which I will be taking later this year. I'm also going to be taking the certified specialist of wine test uh, in about six weeks. Or so so I'm getting into crunch time that I need to make sure that I've completed everything that I need to complete for these tests and as I've mentioned plenty of times with, during sommelier school where I've delayed a lesson for two weeks like this the lesson I'm gonna be recording later today to be put up uh, tomorrow um, I'm, I'm getting very very far behind now for the first test in a few weeks I'm not really too concerned that I won't have everything done by then because there are some things uh, in the first test that I don't need to I don't need to hit I don't need to finish I need to finish the wine part or be as finished as possible with the wine part but the spirits and beer and service part are not are not included in the first test the sommelier test is and that's uh, I plan to take in August um, I don't have any plans to delay it any farther than that However, never know. So that's what's going to happen with the, the wine t 1337 Wine TV part. Um, also, just to reiterate, and this is only about, by the way, up here, um, the original idea for the name of the website was a wine label. Uh, and just to briefly again go through the history or how this happened, the inspiration. I was at World Market, which we all know that. I enjoy going to the world market to get wine because they have a nice eclectic selection there. Um, so I saw a bottle of 337 wine. I thought it was 1337. I was uh, very excited that somebody may be named a wine 1337, aka Leet. And uh, once I realized that they didn't, I decided at World Market to go ahead and buy the website name. Um, and then I didn't know what to do with the website. So I, just, I remembered that I had created a blog on Blogger uh, called Sommelier School and didn't do a thing with it. I wasn't doing reviews at the time. 
but it was a way, it was an educational thing. So my first intent of a website was educational, like I mentioned. And then I realized that maybe I should do some wine reviews to kind of get the name out there. And that's what I did. So uh, what's in the, so besides concentrating on sommelier school, what else is in the future? I have some notes so I don't forget to say some things. Uh, what's in the future for the website in general? Um, so I, I can still potentially maybe do something on a monthly basis with interviews. Um, the idea is potentially to do some, uh, concentrate maybe on some Texas winemakers, uh, to do some actual in the field interviews with them. Uh, not only involving a tasting necessarily, but just to kind of get their story out, who they are, make a profile of their winery, not looking to do uh, a tasting with them, but just to kind of go out, take footage of their, of their operation, kind of more of a, more of a, a story more of a, a reporting thing a special about their winery not hey let's sit down and taste wine um, also with the Skype interviews uh, I still plan to do uh, if I do a Skype interview it's still going to be again an interview not a tasting um, and hopefully they'll maybe expand maybe I can also go into sommeliers uh, around town or via Skype um, I've also had some issues with international uh, winemakers that don't go through, that don't have a distributor in the United States necessarily. Apparently there's some e legal issues that they can't ship to the United States in general and then I've also found out through just talking with other people there are definitely some issues shipping to Texas uh, or just shipping to other states especially with the legislation that's been uh, or the court cases that have happened recently and potential legislation which um, Maybe I'll provide a link for that legislation below or the article about it so we can all write our congressmen and uh, say, hey, let's not enact these uh, draconian liquor or alcohol distribution laws. They're already bad enough as it is with the three-tier system. Um, but uh, the website will have stuff like that. Maybe uh, I'd like to maybe resume doing my article writing that I was doing for iGoSA. Uh, Initially, I'll probably just repost the articles that I had written for them. I think it's about five articles, four or five articles. Um, don't know if I'll make that a weekly thing like I did for them. Maybe it'll be a bi-weekly. Um, I've thought about doing some format changes of the website to be more of a uh, magazine style. There's some things that I'm going to try to do so I can concentrate on an inf to make the website more information rather than a tasting website. Um, and. Like I said, a lot of this is the amount of time that I have to be able to devote to the website. I can do one, but not both, um, as far as what I need to do. And since the wine education and these tests are my primary focus in my, in, in my outside of doing the website, I need to be able to concentrate on that instead of worrying about, okay, what wine am I going to do? Um, and that means I have the entire week to concentrate on this instead of trying to do everything in one day. Um, so what else uh what else is going to happen um when sommelier school finishes its initial run of lessons once i've done everything i want to do uh that's related to the first level test i'll probably take some time off um extended you know extended time off for, from the school part and um then resume the educational stuff kind of figure out what I want to concentrate on, how I want to do the education in relation to the next level. Um, the next level tests the, for the, for the uh, Society of Wine Educators, that's a certified wine educator uh, test. Um, that's a little bit different than the CSW certification. Um, I can probably take that next year sometime, so about a year, a year from now or a year from this, from this summer. I uh, could probably take that test and be comfortable taking it. Um, the next level for sommeliers, um, that probably is going to take a couple years. So I have a couple years to really get that type of stuff uh, worked on. I think that I might do things more in general, maybe do um, certain lessons about varietals, soil, um, climate, and talk about that type of stuff rather than, hey, this is the area of the world that grows these grapes and this is what they're known for. Um, get more in depth in, into that type of knowledge. So get even geekier. So if you're not already into that, um, that's probably what I'll end up doing. I do hope to resume doing the wine reviews at some point in time. Uh, this is not completely, I'm not gonna do them anymore, but it's, I'm not gonna be doing them for quite a while. And 
uh, I, so, so I can concentrate on this. So, um, okay, so what will end up happening is next week, probably Monday, I will, uh, to for those of you that have not seen all of the episodes, uh, so that you don't feel like you need to watch, that you need that you're missing anything, which in many ways you didn't miss anything, but in some ways you have. Uh, for those of you that haven't been watching since episode number one, I will be reposting tweets. Um, uh, instead of my usual tweets, they'll be now, hey, let's go back to the beginning to number one. So effective Monday, I believe it will be either this Monday or, yeah, should be this coming Monday. Uh, I will resume with uh, showing or, or redirecting people to the website to the initial, you know, starting with episode number one and moving on. It'll be the specific uh, URL, so you'll see a shortened URL. Also, when people go to the website initially, they type 1337wine.com. The first, the, the front page, as it's called, will now be Sommelier School, not the wine reviews. Um, so, with beginning with episode number one, though, for the reviews, we'll start back with that, so we'll have a little bit of um, reruns. Um, I'll also have some more time to try to update the database, which, um, if memory serves, it's somewhere in the 40s it stopped and I never updated it. Um, so I have, I'll have more time to kind of update the, that, that stuff. Uh, hope maybe I'll finally create some more swag, though that's very low on the priority list. Um, and I think I already mentioned uh, the website might change a bit. Uh, the look, you've already noticed probably that the, the menu has been moved to the very top of the page. Um, part of that was just I wanted to see how it looked and I liked it, but also when you hit a couple of the menu items, there's a drop down that, that appears and now it's a lot easier to read that. So we have that. Um, and then this is, not the, this is not the final reason or this is not the overall reason, but um, it was just I forgot to type it in my notes. There's a money aspect. Um, it's, and it's not like if somebody all of a sudden contributed a bunch of money that I'm going to redo, redo the, the wine reviews, but um, it is expensive and uh, in, in the personal side of the life, there's some expenses that I have to take care of. So this, this helped in the decision, but it wasn't the overriding, it wasn't the overall, it wasn't the, the reason. Um, but there's some money aspects that uh, since it does, it does cost anywhere from 120 to 200 dollars a month to buy the wine plus the uh, plus the hosting fees and other fees that I have that are associated with the website um, it's you know it's a pretty big endeav en endeavor if you're not earning any money off of the uh, off of the website um, doesn't mean you can't contribute As a matter of fact I do encourage people to contribute uh, because I am putting out a bunch of information out there at least once a week or it should be back to being once a week um, a lot of free content that's out there. If you feel it's worth uh, a few bucks, feel free to, to contribute to it. Just uh, being upfront, it's not going to go to purchasing any wine. Uh, it's just going to per it's just it's going to maintaining the uh, the website. So um, I think that's going to do it. This video was longer than I wanted it to be, um, but uh, uh, I do want to thank all of you for if you've got this far. I want to thank you all for watching the reviews. They will return at some point in the future. Just right now, I gotta concentrate on the, on the educational stuff because I'm, I'm getting too far behind on it and something had to give. Um, so all those reasons kind of combined that I really needed to concentrate on this. Um, and that's gonna do it. I'm about to record Sommelier School. So uh, California part one, two weeks late, uh, will be up on Thursday, will be up tomorrow. And uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, comments feel free to leave them uh, again friend me up uh, if you haven't <laughs> subscribed to the iTunes uh, feed you can subscribe but there's not gonna be too many new uh, videos on there but you can always go to iTunes and download uh, I believe you can get all of the episodes off of iTunes I don't think there's I restricted it to the last 10 the last 15 or 20 I think you can get all of them from iTunes so more than welcome to download them all, so just click the iTunes link. It'll take you to the part on iTunes. Um, I have no plans of putting Sommelier School on iTunes, but that might be something um, that I will look at. But there's, there's other ideas for Sommelier School that I don't want to get into because I haven't decided if I want to do them or not.
but uh, know that that's the concentration, that's the main focus for the site, so I can take my tests, and um, I really appreciate everybody. I've rambled long enough. I got a lesson to record. <laughs> we'll see everybody again in the future, hopefully some interviews, um, so this won't be the very last episode uh, in, in that essence. Hopefully I can get an interviewer here and there in a month or so, and that type of stuff, and maybe special, maybe have a little special episodes of, of things. Um, that's going to do it, and we'll see everybody again next time because there will be a next time.